Congressman, uh, Ms. Howard, you had an exchange earlier. Uh, I apologize, I couldn't be here. But uh, you had an exchange with the chairman where you referenced a special project team that was created to deal with requests for information concerning the targeting um, and a former employee at the Internal Revenue Service, Lois Lerner. Uh, I just had some basic questions. When did this special project team uh, start? My understanding was that it started soon after the request came from Congress and other investigators um, asking for documents um, around this whole issue. So that would have been somewhere in the about two spring, years ago? early summer of 2013. Yeah, about two years ago. Okay, mm -mm. it's been a little over two years since we had. Um, and it was that was the reason why to deal with requests from co from uh, Congress. Yeah, I, I think this is very... Um, it, or was it also requests from outside folks, people like we heard from yesterday who represented groups who had been targeted? Was it to deal with that as well? It was, because there was a recognition that most of the documents would be responsive to both Congress, the investigators, and the FOIAs, and so we centralized the whole process is, for gathering is, them and redacting them. for. And was that unusual for the IRS to do such a thing, to create such an entity? I, I think it was a, u a normal response to an unusual situation. I see the IRS do this on an ongoing basis when we have surges of work or So it's not unusual to for them to put quickly. together a special team? Yeah. It's not unusual for us to gather together resources that are going to be focused on achieving... Are they called special teams? I mean, I'm using the words you... you yeah, no, and, and if, I, if I gave you the impression there was a title called special team, that, that's probably not I'm just correct. using what you said, special project team. It was a project team put together. Okay, I, and, I, and, and uh, who was on that team? My first-hand knowledge of that is, is none. You can't tell us who's on it? I can't tell you who was on it. No, I know that it was made up mostly of district of um, chief counsel, uh, their attorneys. They pulled them offline to, to work on them. We took resources so that were familiar the, with 6103. Okay, let me, let, me, let me stop you there. You mentioned chief counsel. So yes. was the chief counsel at the Internal Revenue Service part of the special project team created shortly after it became known that there was targeting going on approximately um, two years ago. I have no personal knowledge. You, you would have to ask him or the commissioner that. But, the, the, well, well, I mean, we'll do that. Um, is it your assumption or do you, you believe, you, you're the one who brought special counsel, both in your, your response to Mr. Chaffetz earlier, um, or not special counsel, chief counsel. Right. Do you think the chief counsel was part of the team? I think there were hundreds of attorneys that were part of the team, and I think that they, it was a production team. It was okay. a way to amass documents okay. and mass produce them. All right, and uh, you were asked uh, by the chairman earlier uh, about, did, do you have uh, any interaction with the White House before you release information? And I'm quoting from what you, your response, to the extent that I've been involved in responses to Congress or to FOIA, we have never shared information with the White House. Accurate? That yes. was your response? You go on to say in that, in that same answer to the chairman, um, I can't speak for the entire IRS. That would be a question for the chief counsel or the commissioner. I can simply speak for the disclosure office and FOIA progress. We do not interact with the White House. Do you know if the special project team that was put together, gathering all this information, most likely had the chief counsel on it. Do you know if they were checking with the White House before they gave information to Congress and or other FOIA requests? I have no personal knowledge of how that team acted, except that I know that they amassed hundreds of attorneys to go through the documents uh, and redact them for 6103. Do you think That's it was likely that the chief counsel talked with the White House before he gave information to Congress? I think it's unlikely, but I don't know. You think it's unlikely? Well, that, that would be in direct contradiction to the uh, memo sent to every chief counsel back when this administration first started, April 15, 2009. The need to consult with the White House arises with respect to all types of document requests, including congressional committee requests, GAO requests, judicial subpoenas, and FOIA requests. So we have this memo from Greg Craig to all chief counsels. You're telling me it's likely the chief counsel of the IRS was part of this special project team created just to deal with requests about the targeting in Lois Lerner, and then you're saying you think it's unlikely that they actually checked with the White House, which would be a direct contradiction to what they were told to do by the White House Chief Counsel. Except that the memo does specify documents with White House equities. I, I'm not sure that the documents we have... You don't think the White House has an interest in knowing about information related to the Internal Revenue Service targeting people? You don't think they have an interest in that? Equities is an interest, right? They have an interest in that. 
I this is pretty we'll all document requests that may involve may involve White House interests. That's pretty broad. And then the next paragraph gives clarification to that and says congressional committee requests, which you said is the reason this special project team was created, not to mention GOA uh, requests, judicial responses, and FOIA requests. So sure. I would say if the chief counsel, who's most likely part of this special project team, which is something I think we're going to find out, and the chairman will, will be pushing for that, um, if he's likely part of this special project team, he wouldn't be following the memo if he wasn't consulting with the White House. You agree? Sir, the special project team was put together not because the responses were due to Congress, but because of the volume and the number of investigators and the scope of the documents that were needed. It was a business reason, a business process. Well, I'm out of time. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.